What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. We have Thank You Scientist. Yes, indeed. How about that? Thank You Scientist making their debut on the channel. It's all a bunch of tree-hugging hippie crap. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comment is a request from Eduardo Ramirez. And Eduardo wanted to see me react to this song by Thank You Scientist called Son of a Serpent. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. It was always a five-star listen to the song, and I suddenly go, wait, 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 wait. I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Thank You Scientist, okay? And the video has 78,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Thank you, scientist. Son of a serpent live at Backroom Studios. Cool. Whoa. Eight minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, well, you know how I feel about long videos. Um, if I'm entertained, if I'm not bored, if it's engaging, it's the song's well written, well played, well executed, and I'm having a good time, it's got nothing to worry about. On the flip side, if I'm bored, time's dragging, uh, if it's not particularly well written, if it's, if it's poorly written, if it's not engaging, I'm gonna absolutely tear it to shreds. So, we'll see how this goes. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this!
Between four four and six eight, quite a bit. A um, couple of times the transitions were short, like literally two measures. Uh, they like there was that one say coming out of that long six eight field section. They did two measures of four four and went right back into six eight for like eight measures, and they went right back into four four. Now the eight measure, I don't mind. The long, I don't mind either. The two measure, it's almost almost a distraction it, it, it goes by so fast you, you, you blink and you miss it and you're like what just happened uh, I I've never been a big fan of that because you you're, you're throwing a new transition and you're throwing in a, a new time signature and you're not giving the, the, the listener a chance to get into it you, you you're literally throwing in there for two measures and then you're going right back to six eight again it's in my opinion, it's it's kind of pointless. It, it, it if at at best it's pointless. At worst, it's a distraction. Um, not always a big fan of rapid changes like that. But uh, for the most part, though, the, the groove is solid. I I do like the transition between the four four and the six eight. It's smooth every time they do it. It does not sound awkward. Um, instrumentation. Everybody sounds nice everybody sounds solid across the board uh, nobody's overpowering anybody guitar sounds well blended with horns which sounds well, well blended with the with the drums bass is coming through the mix really well and I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this being a bass player myself I might actually consider turning the bass ever so slightly down in the mix what did he say I can't believe I just said that but it's true. I would actually possibly move him just a tick down uh, just to try to get him to blend in a little bit better with everybody else because right now he is kind of standing apart. Now, if that's what they're going for, if they want him to stand out as the lead instrument, then by all means, keep it where it is. That's fine. Um, but I don't think that's what they're really going for. I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Vocally, what he's singing... Sounds fine. It's fitting the context of the song. Uh, his technique sounds good. I, I got no issue with anything he's doing. No, overall, this is this is doing fine. Uh, where are we at right now? Three forty-one. Yeah, that feels that feels about right. I thought we were at about the four-minute mark. I thought we were about halfway, but uh, yeah, we're we're pretty close. We're pretty close. It's dragging just ever so slightly, but it's it's not enough to complain about. So anyway, let's let, let's keep going here.
times had in a studio um eight minutes 11 seconds uh no you know what no no i'm gonna i'm gonna save everything for the review i'm gonna save it all for the review let me get my thoughts together i'll see you in the review and oh yeah we're, we're gonna talk about everything well, there you go, folks. That was Thank You, Scientist, with Son of a Serpent. Uh, this was a request from Eduardo Ramirez. Okay. Um, let's let's start with a score. We'll, we'll start with a score, and then we'll get into the, all the details as to how I came up with that score. On a scale of 1 to 10, believe it or not, I'm going to give that a 7.4. Yeah, 7.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. First things first, 7.4. What does that mean? Well, a 7.4 would translate to a really good skill rating. So believe it or not, I think overall this was a really good job. It would get four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So there you go. 7.4, really good skill rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Um, I'm gonna start with the time, okay? Eight minutes and 11 seconds. <sighs> it felt longer. It, it did feel longer than eight minutes and 11 seconds, but it didn't feel much longer. It felt like we were around about 
by the, by the time we were done, it felt like about nine and a half minutes went by. Now, did it drag? By definition, yes, but it, guys, trust me, I, I've, I've had songs that are six minutes long feel like 10 or 12. So just having about a minute drag, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that bad. Uh, did it come into account? Did, did I take that into account with my scoring? I did. It, it did affect the score just ever so slightly. Seriously, a 0.1 difference, okay? So instead of getting a 7.5, we got a 7.4, which honestly makes zero difference in any of the ratings. It would still get a really good. It would still get four to five stars. It would still get a B plus. So uh, a, a difference between a 7.5 and a 7.4 is negligible. It's hardly even noticeable. Um. The songwriting, probably the most interesting aspect of the song. The and it's not even the songwriting; it's the arranging, uh, the shifting between four four and six eight. Now, the song was dominantly in six eight. Dominantly, it was mostly six eight. There were some times it would switch to four four, and then there were other times where I honestly could not tell it you could count it either way and i was counting both ways i was counting four four and i was counting six eight and they both worked uh, the drummer has a really good handle on knowing how to come up with a drum pattern that fits both directions uh, gotta give him credit for that because that's honestly more than anybody that's thanks to him um really nice job from the drummer on this uh, the bass player, very nice job with what he was playing. I liked what he was doing. He would come up on the neck, yes, but he wouldn't overstay his welcome. He would come off the neck, do his little thing, and then he would go right back down and again into the lower register to fill out the bottom in. I have no issue with anything he did. I, I think the bass player did a really nice job. Uh, the guitar playing, it was nice. It was light, other than the guitar solo. When the guitar solo kicked in, that's when, that's when his... Uh, ability started to really kind of shine and that's when you really kind of started to get a little more present within the sound taking the lead obviously doing a guitar solo that's what you should do uh but when he was in solo he was very much in the background not in the foreground at all really and i, I absolutely appreciate that speaking of his solo i really like how his solo developed starting lighter uh not quite as quote-unquote shreddy uh just you know taking very much from a jazz influence st uh, standpoint. And then as the solo went along, he got a little louder, he got a little more aggressive in his playing, a little more intense in his playing, a little more intricate in his playing, and he got a little more impressive in his playing. And it just constantly grew and grew and grew and grew. Um, it was interesting to watch that guitar solo develop. It was it was nice, it sounded really good. Um, the horns, nice. I, I, I like what they were doing, they did add they did add some color and flavor to the song. Could the song have been done without the horns? That's a great question. I think they could have done without the horns. I think if they had played the song without the sax, without the trumpet, I think the song would have been just fine. Having said that though, I'm glad they were there. They definitely added that splash of color that you know the song may have been lacking otherwise. So uh, not necessary, but a welcome addition without question. Uh, you know, it's funny going back to the bass player. I kept seeing that theremin in front of him and I kept wondering to myself Is that gonna come into play on this song or are there other songs that they are gonna do during this recording session that he uses that on? I I'm not sure but he did use it for like a grand total of like five seconds or ten seconds in this song So that was kind of cute um, The unison lines when they would be done between the guitar between uh, the the violin uh by the way, speaking of that violin, let's go back to the use of the lines in just a little bit. The violin player. I, I saw him there, and there were a couple of times in the song that I could actually hear the violin, but there were a number of times I couldn't really hear him at all. So, uh, that, that's a shame. I, I wish I could have heard more of him. Uh, but what I did hear from him sounded just fine. He was included on some of those unison lines, along with the guitar, along with the bass, along with the horns. I, I like that. It, it sounded really nice. When they would play unison, it was tight. It was tight. I had no problem with it. Vocally, um, everything he did 
sounded good. Everything he did was accurate. I mean, his pitch was on, his delivery was on, his tone was really nice. Um, power, power and projection were there. I think they could. I, I think because they were in studio, he was kind of holding back. Um, I, I feel like he is capable of more when it comes to power and projection. But uh, I get it. You're in studio. You don't want to be blasting it out. So I, I, I understand that. Now, overall, I, I really don't have any complaints. Like I said, it did feel a little long, but not so long that it destroyed the song for me. I'm not gonna tear the song to shreds over it. Um, like I said, it felt like about nine and a half, and we were pretty close with eight and 11, so. Um, anyway, uh, across the board, I think all the musicians did a fine job. I, I had no issue with anything that anybody did or anything that anybody played. Um, the play between the six, eight, the four, four, and that middle ground where you can literally count it e either way. That was a very nice job by the drummer. And overall, that's how I'm coming up with the score, a really good score of 7.4. I feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We have a 7.4, which is a really good scale rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.